Hello and welcome to the Cleveland Guardians 2022 predictions video. In the leadoff spot, this team is going to be having Miles Straw playing center field. A lot of speed for Miles Straw, approximately no power, and he's an average in terms of contact. In the two-hole shortstop, Ahmed Rosario, another probably about league average player in the two-hole. Three holes where this team shines with Jose Ramirez, switch hitting third baseman, probably on the trading block, and he is a perennial MVP candidate. In the four-hole, DH Fran Mill Reyes. He's DH for a reason because he was nothing in the field, but he is a masher at the plate. He's going to provide a lot at the plate. In the five-hole, first baseman Bobby Bradley, who's not really going to provide much with the bat, and he's going to be okay in the field. He'll have a little pop with the bat, though. In left field, Stephen Kwan, a below-average major league hitter. In the seven-hole, second baseman Andres Jimenez, and he's really not going to provide much either, a little bit below league average. In the eight-hole, lockdown defensive catcher Austin Hedges, but can do about nothing with the bat and is projected for a sub-200 average this year. In the nine-hole, Bradley Zimmer, lefty, and he's going to be a little bit below average with the bat. So not really much except for Jose Ramirez in that lineup. But let's go to the pitching rotation. This is where the Cleveland Guardians always shine as they have a really good rotation and they develop arms really well. At the SP1 spot, Shane Bieber, who if he's not hurt, he is going to be providing a lights-out Cy Young candidate level season. At the SP2, Cal Quantrill is going to be an above-average pitcher this year, and I really think you can expect a lot out of him. And then in the SP3 and 4 spot, very similar pitchers in Zach Plesak and Aaron Savale. If they're on, they're going to be really good, and they should be pretty good pitchers this year. In the 5 spot, Tristan McKenzie looks like Slenderman, and he can pitch. Tristan McKenzie is a solid pitcher and could look forward to a really solid season this year. Let's go to the bullpen here. James Karinczak, who was absolutely nasty at the beginning of last year, but then hit a bump in the road and slowed down a lot. And their closer, Emmanuel Classe, who's going to be really tough to hit when he's in the zone, considering he's throwing 102 mile an hour cutters. He is absolutely nasty. And my prediction for this team is going to be a 75 and 87 team. Because I really think they're going to be able to get a lot out of their arms. But I don't really think there's anything there with the bats. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.